my YouTube channel Trouble Free. In this video, we are going to learn about black box testing in the subject of software engineering. So, so far you have understood what testing is and what different types of testings are there and all right. So, now let us try to understand what a black box testing is. And after this video, we will learn what is a white box testing, okay? And then you can compare both of them. So, let's go. First, in general, what do you mean by a black box? In general, when you listen the word black box, what do you understand by that? So, what is happening inside that you don't know? So, if, if you don't know something or if somebody, you think somebody is hiding something from you or then you say like, I don't know, everything is a black box over there, right? So, in general, in gen black box means what is happening inside, you don't know, okay? We don't know what's happening inside. Sorry. This is what in general black box means. Same here also in testing also same. You don't know what is the logic or structure behind the functionality. Okay. Behind the functionality or what functionality you are testing. You don't know what the logic is. Okay. You just give the input and you just get the output. So you will have a set of input and you will have the set of expected outputs. So you will just compare both of them. What is happening inside how that result is coming you don't want. Let's say you gave an input of 2 plus 3 okay and it gave an output of 5 it doesn't matter what happened inside this whether it is doing directly 2 plus 3 or whether it is doing 2 plus 3 uh, or you know minus 3 plus 2 plus 3 what it is doing inside you don't really need you gave 2 plus 3 you got the output as 5 that's all you are supposed to give the input as 2 plus 3 and you, the expected output is 5 okay the expected output is matched so the testing is completed that is what happens in the black box testing okay so what is happening inside you don't know and the input is given and the just output is checked whether you are getting the expected output or not only this thing is checked okay so simple thing that you have to remember in black box testing is as the name indicates what happens inside you don't know okay that is the black box testing how that output is coming and what happens inside what logic is running whether that logic is correct or not whether that is accepted or not whether that is legal or not or whatever whether that is secured or not nothing is bothered nothing you guys are bothered about okay what is happening inside that is about black box so i'll give you an example more detailed example than this then it will be more clear for you. example is let's say you're creating a gmail account okay so to create a gmail account what you will do Okay, first forget about testing and everything first what you will do you will go to the website you will log in and then you will create the gmail and you will enter all your details you will create the gmail all. so as a customer you are doing that okay but as a tester what the tester has to test in case of black box testing what the tester will do they will first open gmail.com they will go to the browser okay they will have all these steps written in the document okay so first again maybe there might be another step to open the browser also so first they will open the browser okay and then they will open gmail.com that means they will enter www.gmail.com okay so once they enter gmail.com what should happen what should be the output web page has to come what is that web page the output will be gmail home page right you will have a page where it will ask you to uh, sign in or create a new account. All those things will be there. That web page has to come. Did that page come or not? Yes, it came. Then the test passed. Okay. How that page got loaded? Internally, what is happening? How many seconds it took? Uh, what server it is hitting? What, which location server it is hitting? Or what is happening inside? You don't want. What, what? programming language did they use to develop that web page nothing you want you just will enter www.gmail.com web page is opened or not opened expected output matched so this is completed next here you will have a create account button let's say you will click on that button okay clicking on that button is an input what will be the output when you click on the um, like when you click on the create account what is the output the output would be the page where you enter your username and password right you will have a page where you enter your username and where you enter your password whether this page is displayed or not yes displayed correct test case passed how this page is displayed all that details you don't want next same here also you will enter the username and password and then are you able to enter the username and password or not yes you are able to enter done 
click on sign in or sign up button once you click on sign in or sign up button what has what it should happen it has to say you that the account has been successfully created or something so like that whatever what is the input what is the output that's all okay and it is mostly done by testers or qa and in order to do this no programming knowledge is required yes obviously no programming knowledge is required right you're just blindly seeing blindly comparing the screens or blindly comparing the output so for that you don't need any programming knowledge and then in this there are like three types you have regression testing you have system testing and you have acceptance testing so about these we will be learning in detail in the next coming videos but for now the only thing that you have to remember in case of black box testing is internal logic you don't know okay and then it is mostly done by testers or qa team qa means quality assurance team okay and for this testing for this type of testing you don't need any programming knowledge okay in the next video i'll explain you about white box testing so once you understand white box testing then you will be able to compare both of them what is the difference between black box testing and what is the difference between uh, what, what are the differences between these two things mostly in the exams also if they ask you they might ask you to write the differences between both of them so you can write the what, whatever you know whatever you understood from these two videos you can write all the differences okay so yeah in the next video let's learn about white box testing this is a very pretty short video and yeah that's all guys so thanks for watching the video till the end and if you have any questions let me know in the comment section i'll definitely try to answer all your questions for sure thank you